Hi, my name is Justin Schaup and I'm the engineering lead at Patch My PC. In today's video, I want to show you how we can use different title filters within our automatic deployment rules to filter out certain updates that you may not want to deploy within a specific automatic deployment rule. So the first thing I want to look at is kind of the way that our updates get published to your site. So when we publish third party updates from our catalog, all the updates go under a single vendor and a single product. So if we look at our software update point, and then if we look at the products tab, we can see that we have a vendor called Patch My PC and then a product called Scup Updates. Now, the reason that we combined all of these and all updates go into that single vendor and product is because WSUS has a limitation of 100 unique vendor and product combinations that can be used and published to WSUS. So when we started approaching that limit, uh, we had to think about ways that we could go around that. So what we decided to do is just have all updates go under a single vendor and product. So when you're using ADRs, it's not quite as simple as where you can do things like a product filter, like you could do with Microsoft updates. So for example, for Microsoft, you're gonna have different vendor and products here that you could base your ADRs off of. So for example, you have things like Windows 10, Windows 7, so you could just use those products within your ADR criteria. So since all our updates are under a single vendor and product to avoid any limits that you might hit if you're also using other catalogs like HP, Dell, or Lenovo, what we can do within our ADRs is use what's called a title filter. So let's say you have a scenario where you have some machines that you don't wanna get a specific uh, Java update or really any product within our catalog. What we could do within our ADR is go to the properties and then within the software updates tab, we can add different criteria. So we can see currently this ADR is just saying, show me any updates that are under the vendor patch my PC. So if we run a preview here, this is going to show us all the published updates from our catalog. So we can see that there's currently 241 updates that this ADR would download and deploy automatically for us. Now, um, let's say we do a search for Java here. You can see that we have all uh, these six different Java updates within the title. Now, one other one here that I might wanna look at is the migration update. So we also have a migration update that can convert Firefox ESR, or I'm sorry, the regular version of Firefox to ESR. And then we have a migration update that can convert Java 6 and Java 7 and upgrade it to the latest version of Java 8. So let's say that you wanted to exclude these updates from your ADR. You just didn't wanna deploy to the collection that these updates are targeting. So since we don't have unique vendors and products for all these updates, what we would need to do is come in and add the title. So once we add the title, we can do what's called a exclude rule. So in order to do an exclusion on a title, what we can do is add the dash sign, and then we can add the title. So we wanna do dash migration. So let's say that you don't want those migration updates to automatically deploy if they've been published to your site. So we're gonna click add here and then okay. Now if we do a preview, we should see we have three, 238 updates. So it automatically filtered out those three migration updates, uh, the one for Firefox and then the two different ones for Java 32 and 64 bit. So that looks good. Now let's say uh, if we come in here and search for Java, we can see that these are still showing up the main updates. Now let's say that you're within your ADR, you're targeting a collection of devices but you have some devices that you're targeting within that collection that can't get the latest version of Java because of compatibility issues. So in that scenario, you might also want to add a title filter. So we're going to do the dash Java. So that's going to say, don't include any uh, update titles where Java is in the name. So we're going to click uh, add here and then okay, and then preview. Now this should cut it down by four updates. So now we've got 234 updates. And if we do a search here, we can see that there are no Java updates currently being deployed. So that looks good. And that's really how we could exclude different uh, products within our catalog within ADRs and searches. Now we're gonna have an accompanying blog post that's gonna list all the title criteria that you could use for all the products that we support in our catalog. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thanks for watching.